Afternoon all, uh, I did say the next video would be the uh, yet unfired in my position mech one. Still thinking about what to make. Um, I may uh, just uh, rig up some workshop tools on it. But anyway, in the meantime, I've dug out the steam wagon. Uh, this is only the second firing in my possession and possibly ever. Bought this around 10, 12 years ago, I would say, from a local train shop. And uh, I've took the uh, body off it for ease of access, but if you can just see at that corner, it's got a bit of a ding. That's as it was when I bought it. Other than that, more or less pristine. And the condition of uh, everything when I bought it otherwise, and the firebox now, suggested it had never been fired, so... It was either second hand, never been fired, never been used, or perhaps uh, new, never been used. Um, I can't remember now. Anyway, it was about 80 quid, 85 quid at the time, and I thought that was a decent buy. Everything was there with it. I've since got rid of the box when I sold an, a, another model some years ago and used the box. Um, I've done everything, I've cleaned the boiler out, just about ready to go, I think. Uh, did the board a bit of flush as usual. Uh, oiled everything that needs to be oiled, moving parts wise, and the cylinder with steam oil, as you all know. Be really care kind of careful turning it round. And uh, we'll give it a whirl. Um, yep, ready, ready. We'll give it a bit of a whirl. Quite a bit more play in the axle on this than the bus. The bus has got uh, small brass bearings inside the, the mounts and that, see, I found that was uh, an issue with the last run of the bus that you may have seen which is very poor. The bearing had actually come out so a bit of a bending of the mounts on the uh, chassis. They're old those, try and keep them in place and then I'll, I'll try them next time I'll try them before I do anything more drastic with the bus. That's going quite nicely. And that's just uh, I think first notch. The notes I put rubber bands as tyres, rubber elastic bands as tyres on the rear wheel, uh, just to help protect it from the, the tin wheels a, a little bit anyway. They're not really quite wide enough. And looking at it, the ones move, so it may be that it's going to come off. Uh, just a shade too big really to stay on nicely but we'll see how we go with that so open it up a bit this seems to be in order very smooth this end I can't remember where this one was made uh, so the box is uh, somewhere else in the world now. I actually show, sold a Wellesco steam wagon and that was about the best box I've got at the time to send it away. Uh, sorry, not steam wagon, um, steam roller, all brass steam roller which it run okay but never really gelled with me. Um, although I did run that quite a bit. But when I sold it, the uh, the uh, regulator tap was very loose. Uh, anyway, um, back to the steam wagon, not much to sell. Running very smoothly. As I say, it's only the second firing in my possession, probably ever. Um, the smoke alarm may go off because I forgot to open the window. Running this one on meths again because it's cleaner indoors. Uh, it is actually a solid fuel one which will obviously narrow it down a little bit. Water level sight glass, you can just see there. Um, it again narrows it down. I don't think it's uh, Thorns Road Brawley Hill age. Uh, 
I'm guessing it's either I don't know, could be Slough I suppose and there was down there or another place in Berkshire, wherever that was, or indeed the North East or it could be Smethy um, the box was quite an older box though yeah, I'm guessing it was it's probably the late, very late Thorns Road or I would think Slough to guess so we're talking anywhere between sort of well I suppose 1980 um, and probably mid 90s I suppose when they went back up to uh, was bought again and went back up to Smedic eventually from Erdington anyway I'll uh, manoeuvre around a bit show the other side running on the wheel now on the rollers anyway. Don't think it's doing any harm, let's just have a check. Just a bit of a line. Looking at the way that one's going compared to the bus, I, I dare say there's something wrong with the cylinder on the bus and probably always he had, or he always has been in the time I've had it, which was from new. Um, although the bus went quite fast on the rollers, that seems so much more, so much uh, faster and hopefully more powerful. Anyway, we'll get to the bus on another time. Right, this is the second firing today. I put the body on for a bit more of an aesthetic look. Another smooth runner though. Definitely putting the rollers on the little bit of foam helps to stop the uh, rattle and clatter. The structure of the rollers is <laughs> quite hollow, it's really just a frame. Uh, plus point to that is it's easy to get in to clean up the mess afterwards uh, it was made with limited parts anyway but a nice runner very nice runner that's just the first notch trying to get it to run a bit slower on the sort of half notch plus it lulled in position for a while When it is running slow, you can see the individual pulses from the engine itself in the uh, movement of the wheel.
there yeah, I've got if the loud running slow you can see the individual pulse from each movement of the cylinder and piston in the back wheel obviously the model is fairly geared down I may order some of the uh, rubber tyres for, for this one to protect the wheels um, there is nowhere to run indoors here the very first time I did run it I did try to run it but it just, the carpet just slows it up but uh, I notice there's not much clearance on the front wheels between the wheel and the mud guard so I don't know how we'll get on with uh, these uh, brought in rubber tyres and uh, if you were in the model on a, an even surface here uh, we get on with clearance of the mud guard anyway that's, uh, I'll order them when I've got a few things to order in the near future